Shalom. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akim and to the Akwaf. That will be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Rathazah. That is to say Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of this lesson you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. To feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this lesson is going into, it's going to be an exhortation, okay, uh, to give you warning, okay, uh, the listeners out there, you know, under, under the voice of this video epistle. Okay, this is this is for the elect, the hopeful elect. Okay, uh, if this if this if this word is for you, okay, um, it's just to give warning to you that you must repent, man. Okay, so scripture says to give you warning. So this is a, this is a um, an exhortation of warning. Okay, warning you to return back to the Lord through repentance. All right. Uh, the Lord speak of um, uh, him not keeping his anger because remember, we as a, 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 a people, okay, the Israelites who were given the law, okay, we transgress the laws of the, uh, uh, the Most High, okay. Therefore, okay, the Lord cast us away for a moment of time, but he not he not uh, fully done away with us, as you know. You know the scriptures say, um, um, the book of uh, Isaiah, the fourteen chapter, it speaks about. Uh, let me grab it real quick. It says, "For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, okay, which is the progenitor of the patriarch of the twelve tribes of Israel, okay. Thus, where the Israelites, Jacob, whose name was later turned to Israel, okay. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans whose blood lineage goes back, okay, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob." All right, it says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. Okay, and the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. So I just wanted that to make the point that the Lord is gonna, okay, have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel, even though he did cast us off for, for a while. Okay, but it's not, it's not, it's not permanent. Okay, the Lord just wants you to, uh, all right, let's go to it real quick. The book of Jeremiah. All right, Jeremiah chapter um, three. This is Jeremiah chapter three. Jeremiah chapter three, and it says, um, verse twelve. It says, "Go proclaim these words toward the north and say, Return, thou backsliding Israel," said the Lord, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful," said the Lord, and I will not keep my anger forever. So the Lord said He's not going to keep His anger forever. All right, and it says, "Only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy power, and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice," said the Lord. It says, "Turn, O backsliding children," said the Lord, "for I am married unto you." And I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you unto Zion. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And that's where we come in. Okay, as men of the Lord. Okay? So to give you warning. Okay? As the, as the scriptures say. Okay, the book of Ezekiel. All right? Ezekiel, the third chapter, and the 17th verse. So we're giving you warning. This is what the Lord says, Ezekiel 3.17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So we are here to give you warning, man. All right? And we're not, we're not uh, 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 keeping back, keeping back our, our, our sword from blood, man. All right? The, the scripture say to tell you what the word of the Lord is, whether you were here or whether you were forbear, man. You see? So that's, that's, that's what we got to do. We telling you what the word of the Lord say, man. The, the Lord say you must return unto him, man, and repent. You see? 
So let's get that real quick in the book of Acts. Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. I'll start at verse 18. It says, but those things, it says, but those things which God, okay, the heavenly father whose name is Yahweh, before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets that Mashiach should suffer. He had so fulfilled, meaning our Lord Yahweh Shai. It says, repent ye therefore and be converted. Okay, have a change of mind. All right, uh, be remorseful. Okay, be, be sorry for the things that you've done. All right, the Lord, the scripture says, the Lord is nigh unto them that have a broken heart and a contrite spirit. All right, it says, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. All right, so you got to repent. You see, that's, that's, it begins with you repenting, man. You hearing this word and repenting, turning back to the Lord, coming back to your power, your hawa ba, shim yawa shai. You see, now the scriptures tell you it's by this word, okay, that you're going to be cleansed, man. Okay, that you're going to be healed. Okay, this is uh, Psalms 119 and verse 9. And it reads, Beth, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereunto according to thy word? Okay, Beth, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereunto according to thy word? So you got to take heed to the word, man. All right? You got to take heed to the word. That's the point. You got to take heed to the word. Take heed to the warnings that we're giving you, man. Because we, we're not, we not going to spare you your, your, your feelings, man. Okay? We're not going to spare you your feelings, man. All right? Let's get into it. What, 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 what the words say, that's what, we, that's what we're going to tell you, man. Okay? This is um, Isaiah 62 and verse 6. It says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a people before it's a place which shall never hold their peace day nor night. So we're going to tell you what the word of the Lord say. Okay, we're not going to hold our peace. Like, like the Apostle Paul say, okay, we have not, uh, uh, we have not shunned to declare on you all, 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 all the words of the Lord, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, it says that ye, that ye, that, it says, ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, you see, and give him no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. So we're going to keep pushing, man. We're going to keep pushing. I don't want to out with those men. We're going to keep pushing until you have a shot returns, man. You see? Not, 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 not sparing you your feelings, man. Letting you know what the word of the Lord is, man. And, 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 and giving it to you in its, uh, its, its, its true sense and meaning and, and, and the raw form, man. 100% truth. Okay? All right, so let's go. Um, and this lesson is all through the Spirit. Okay, it's an organic lesson through the Spirit. Part of the by Shemir Shai. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, and verse 1. It says, Cry aloud, spare not. Right, we're not going to spare you your feelings. We're not going to spare you your feelings. All right, it says, Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sin. So we're here to tell you that you need to get it right, man. Okay? You need to get it right. All right? You got to uh, uh, turn to the Lord and repent, man. You see? Before uh, 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 the day of judgment, man. Because it's not going to be nice, man. And that time. All right? It's not going to be nice. So you want to get, you want to make sure that you get it right. Right? You want to make sure that you get it right because, hey, the scriptures say um, um, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. Okay? You want to be on the right side of the Lord when he returns, man. Okay? You want to make sure that you're on the right side of the Lord, man. Don't take this thing for granted, man. Okay? Because the Lord is going to return. Okay? And the day of the Lord <laughs> is, is, is darkness and not light. Okay? Let's get... Um, Real quick, let's get that in the book of Amos. Amos, the fifth chapter. Beginning at verse 18, it says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end it is for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into a house and leaned his hand on the wall 
and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? Okay, so except you serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, that's the only way you stand a chance in this thing, man. Because the scriptures say the righteous shall scarcely be saved. Okay, and judgment is going to come, okay, beginning at the house of the Lord, those that know they are Israelites, but the ones of us that are uh, doing things uh, to please the Lord, putting our best foot forward, you know, and uh, giving diligence to uh, make our calling and election sure. The scripture speaks about how the Lord is going to preserve them, man. Okay, but let's get our, let's get First Peter real quick. First Peter chapter 4, verse Start of verse 17, it says, For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? So the righteous are going to be scarcely saved. The scriptures tell you how it's going to be by way of great tribulation. When you go to the book of Acts, all right, Acts the 14th chapter, speaks about it, Acts the 14th chapter and the 22nd verse. Right? It says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Right? It's going to be by way of tribulation. And this is the reason why you should be seeking the Lord, man. The scriptures say men ought to uh, 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 pray rather than to faint. You know? The scriptures say uh, 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 pray without ceasing, man. We sometimes, you know, that's coming. Uh, Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah 30 and 7. It's going to be a time when all hell break loose, man. The scripture speaks about upper of the people, man. When you see these things, you know, it says that all of these are parts of the sign. The scripture say then lift up, lift up your head because your redemption draw at night. This, this is speaking about the ones that are doing the work, man. For your redemption draw at night. That's speaking of the, the elect. Because the Lord said you're going to send the angels to gather the elect from the four winds. You see, but the elect are predestinated from the foundation of the earth. You see? Now this is... um. Second Ezra, the, the, the ninth chapter, I start at verse 7, and it says, And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, okay? And this is why we're giving you the warning to repent. Shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my, my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning, you see? But for the ones who are not listening and not taking heed to the word, Okay, such the scriptures are calling them as the two thirds. You have the one third, which is the elect, and then you have the two thirds, those that are not going to take heed to the word, but they're going to be punished for it. All right, by in many different ways famine, starving to death. Okay, the sword, the modern day gun. Okay, um, uh, 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 uproars and you know, people being taken in different ways, man. All right, ultimately, ultimately by the missiles which is going to create the lake of fire, you see? But the Lord is going to punish those that are not taking heed to his word. That's why we're letting you know this is a warning, this is an ex exhortation of warning to seek the Lord. Scripture said to seek the Lord while he may be found, call you upon him while he's near, you see? Because this is the time you have liberty to do so right now in this great spirit, you see? So this is verse 9, 2nd Exodus 9 and verse 9, it says, then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits, and have not known me, and they that had loved my law while they had yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, they understood not, but despised it. So when you had liberty to get this thing right, all right, being in this great spirit, you ain't do nothing with it. You continue to live in folly. You continue to uh, uh, be about the bread and circus and be about chasing the bag and 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 and, and, was, and wasn't trying to and, and wasn't trying to keep things spiritual you know, just being carnal okay it says the, the the same must know it after death by pain okay so once again it would behoove you to seek the lord you know so this is a this is a quick exhortation all right to those under the sound of my voice all right um this is this is the words of the lord yahweh bashim yahweh shai all right, and I'm just reading the scriptures to you, all right? And um, the scriptures say we can do nothing but plan and water, but it's the most I will give the increase, all right? So, Lord willing, you edify them and end it there. On to the next one. Shalom.